Welcome to the grade 9 into 10 course planning assembly. We would like to acknowledge that the lands on which we work, play and learn are on the shared traditional territory of the Katsi, Kwantlen, Semiyama and other Coast Salish peoples. We would also like to acknowledge the well-established and special relationship between Earl Marriott Secondary and Semiyama First Nation. Course requests will happen at home from February 3rd to the 18th. Your course planning packages will be going home today, February 2nd. Use your course planning sheet and review the packages before you go online to choose your courses. How-to guides and all the information are available on the school website at the following link. And you can email your Alpha counselor or make an appointment to ask any questions. This is an example of the course planning sheet for students going into grade 10 in the English program. It lists your required courses and in a moment I'll be going through these in much more detail. It lists the number of electives you're allowed to choose from for students in the English program. That's two electives and it notes the alternates. Remember that all students must choose two alternate courses in case we can't meet your main course requests. Again, I'll be going through this in much greater detail in a moment. The back of the sheet lists all of the courses that you have as options, both required and elective courses. And this is an example of the course planning sheet for students going into grade 10 in the French Immersion Program. Again, it lists the required courses that you must put in your course requests and notes the amount of electives and alternates that you need to choose. Note that for the French Immersion Program, you will choose one elective but two alternates. And I'll go in more detail on this in just a moment. In the back of the sheet lists the elective courses and required courses that you're allowed to choose from. This chart shows the graduation requirements in BC for students going through grade 10, 11, and 12. All students, regardless of English or French immersion program, are required to complete English at the grade 10, 11, and 12 level, math at the grade 10 and 11 level, and in a moment I'm going to show you a chart going through the variety of math choices. All students are required to complete a physical and health education 10 and a career life education 10. All students are also required to complete Career Life Connections 12 plus capstone. And there may be a French Immersion Career Life Connections 12 option if enrollment uh, warrants it. So if enough people request it, we'll be able to offer that additional French Immersion option. We also require that students have a Science 10 plus a Science 11 or 12, a Social Studies 10 plus a Social Studies 11 or 12, if you're in the French Immersion Program, you are also required to have Francais Long 10, 11, and 12. And then electives to make up a minimum of 80 credits to graduate. So again, you need 80 credits minimum to graduate. Each course is four credits. So there are 12 required courses and a minimum of seven elective courses required in order to graduate. You'll also be required to complete a numeracy assessment. Generally, we do these in grade 11, but they must be completed before you graduate. And a literacy assessment in grade 10 and in grade 12. So the first thing to check when you get course planning package, do you have the right course planning sheets? If you're in the English program or if you're in the French program. So now I'm gonna go through in just a little bit more detail for each program, what you must request. If you're in the French immersion program, all students will request Science 10, Science Humaine 10, and Francais Long 10. All students are required to choose an English 10. At Earl Marriott, the English curriculum is divided into two course choices. 
you can choose one of the two following options, literary studies slash composition or creative writing slash composition. These are described more fully in the course catalog, but literary studies is the study of various themes, authors, and genres. And students will deepen their understanding of themselves, others in the world through the study of a variety of texts and various forms of media. The composition component develops a student's written communication through the exploration of literature in a variety of contexts. Creative writing and composition is the opportunity for students to play with words and develop lifelong language skills through the writing process. This course provides students with in-depth opportunities to become better writers through the exploration of personal and cultural identities, memories, and stories in a wide range of genres. All students in either the English or French immersion program are required to take a Math 10. This chart shows the options in math as you move through grade 10, 11, and 12. As you can see, at the grade 10 level, you have several options to choose from. Foundations of Math and Precalculus 10, Mathematics 10 Honors, and Math 10 W. If you're in the French Immersion Program, you'll choose Mathematique 10 or Mathematique 10 Honors. To help you decide on which course um, you can speak with your current math teacher about their recommendation for you, you can also look at your previous performance in math. Math 10 Foundations and Precalculus is a course for students who have successfully completed Math 9. Math 10 Honours is for students who have successfully completed Math 9 with at least an 86%. It's also open to all Math 8, 9 accelerated students. And Math 10 workplaces for students who have struggled through Math 9 or who completed Math 9 W. Again, you can speak with your math teacher about their recommendation and also discuss this with your counselor if you're unsure. All students are also required to take a Social Studies 10 or a Science Human 10. All students are required to take a Career Life Education 10. Finally, all students are required to take a PHE or Personal Health Education 10 course. There are some options here um, and you can look in the course catalog for more information, but if you choose to request a PE leadership, this will run all year back to back with your PE course. You may also be choosing a hockey academy, in which case you would not choose PHE 10. You can then choose two elective if you're in the English program, or one additional elective if you're in the French Immersion program. You'll notice that in the English program, it's not required that you take a language at the grade 10 level. This is an elective course for English program students. However, we do recommend that you take a language right through to the grade 11 level if you're thinking of going on to uh, post-secondary, as many universities do require a language to the grade 11 level at least for entry. Um, each university is different with the requirements and certainly that varies throughout Canada, um, but it is recommended that you take a language to the grade 11 level if possible. And just a reminder that there's also the additional course option of jazz band. Um, if you are in concert band and would like to take an additional course outside of school hours, this would be your jazz band course that you can request on the course selection sheet. Students are also requested to um, add two alternate courses to their primary requests. These alternates must be different from the electives you've already requested. I know that seems self-evident, but every year we will have people that put the same ones. The reason for the alternates is we cannot guarantee your first choice of courses. And if we don't have alternates, sometimes we have to put in courses that we think you might like. It's always better if we have alternates to choose from that show um, courses that you might at least be interested in. Please make sure that you are interested in the alternates that you choose because you may get them. 
as you start thinking about grade 10, um, I just want to briefly mention some of the career education opportunities that are available to you. Um, most of these will be available in your grade 11 or 12 year, but as you move into grade 10, this is the time to be thinking about it because that's when you will apply for these kind of district partnership programs. If you're thinking you might be interested in moving into a trade after high school, that might be welding or plumbing or masonry, um, hairdressing or culinary arts or a variety of other things. Um, there are opportunities in the district to take these programs um, as part of your high school years. Um, and so if you'd like to learn a little bit more about this, you can go to the Career Ed Office and talk with Ms. Brabinick or um, come and see your counselor. And um, we can chat a little bit about what opportunities are in the district. Also at our school, starting in grade 11, we have co-op programs. In the grade 11 year, we have the um, very popular science co-op and popular liberal arts co-op program. And there's also either your grade 11 or 12 year, um, the skills trade co-op that you can take within the school. So if you'd like to learn more about these, again, you can look it up on the website. You can go to the career ed department and find out about it or talk to your counselor. You start applying for these programs generally in the winter in your grade 10 year and some of the programs run in grade 11 and some in grade 12. As you start moving into your grad program years, this is a reminder that this is the time to get involved. Most post-secondary schools are now looking for students that have a broad range of extracurricular involvement in school leadership um, and community volunteer work. So this is a time to get started because you don't want to start thinking about this in your grade 12 year. You can start collecting reference letters, start a folder of your activities and keep track of your volunteer hours starting in grade 10. And this will be a great help as you apply for universities and scholarships in grade 12. This is just a reminder of the careers courses that are required by the Ministry of Education as you move through grade 8 through 12. Um, at this school, we offer careers eight in your discovery rotation and your careers nine was taken online in a non-enrolled class. At the grade 10 level, you will take a class, Career Life Education 10 in person. And then in grade 11, you will take your Career Life Connections 12 and capstone course. If you don't take it in grade 11, you will have to take it in grade 12 before you graduate. We offer High Performance Hockey Skills Academy for students. Um, this takes place in the spring semester, involves two academic classes and you have your two hockey classes. And if you're interested in this program, check out the website or contact Mr. Murray directly. Um, you can email him at murray underscore t at surreyschools.ca. Like to mention that as you move through grades 10 to 12, there's opportunities to gain external credits uh, in a variety of ways. Um, for students to speak and write another language already, perhaps um, they speak and write another language at home, um, there are challenge exam opportunities. Um, the applications for this generally come out late September, early October, and um, will be announced and one of the counselors will uh, be helping uh, with this process. And challenge exams take place generally um, in Delta in January or February uh, of the school year. There's also lots of other credits available for external activities you might be involved in. Um, and so if you have any questions about these, you can see your counselor. Some examples are ICBC driver education course. Um, if you have been involved in uh, dance programs that have exams, if you have been involved in um, certain music programs, for instance, piano, the Royal Conservatory of Music, all of these have courses, um, external credits that we can offer you. Please see your counselor for more information. So before uh, requests open online on February 3rd, it is really important that you be ready, that you have looked through the course catalogs um, asked any questions you need to ask about specific courses, reviewed your requirements and have the correct course planning sheet. Make sure you have an email address that you regularly check and that you have a response to your secret question. 
A reminder, Great Assemblies are happening now, February 2nd, and with a virtual question and answer to follow. And then starting February 3rd and open until February 18th, you can uh, place your course requests into the portal from home. Please email your counselor or make an appointment um, to come and talk to your counselor if you have any questions um, or are struggling with this process. The next two slides are just going to show you what you'll see when you go on to the course planning site. Um, so as you can see from this site, on the welcome page, you have links to the course planning timeline, a course catalog, course planning guide, a link to a graduation program information for each grade 10, 11, and 12. So the course planning worksheets, if you click on that link, you'll notice come up and you can choose the worksheet that's appropriate. Make sure that if you um, are going into grade 10, you choose the grade 9 into 10 course planning sheet, either English or French. I'd just like to show you briefly how to access um, and put your requests in online. So first, very simply, you go into your MyAd account. You can Google MyAd, and the green arrow shows you where you can press um, to get into your MyAd link. You're then going to put in your login ID and your password. And if you've forgotten your password, there is a link to uh, click so that you can um, create a new password. Once you are into your account, you can go to My Info. So if you're looking at the PowerPoint, you'll see where the green arrow is pointing at the top left-hand corner. And once you're in My Info, you're going to go on the bottom left-hand tabs to the bottom and see where the green arrow is pointing here, you're going to click on Requests. And that's going to bring you to a page that looks like this, where you can submit your course requests online. And again, it will also outline what we've talked about today at length, the courses you must choose, and the elective courses and choices that you have. It will also indicate if you are in the correct program. So make sure if you're in the French Immersion Program, that's what it says. You'll then have the opportunity to input your primary requests and to input your elective courses. If you'd like to look at the options that are available, if you have a look at the uh, PowerPoint screen, you'll see a variety of um, green arrows and those will show you um, some options you have for uh, choosing your elective courses. Um, you can scroll for more choices by using the drop-down box or the arrows at the top of the course list to, to see more choices. Once you have put your requests in, it should look like this screen. And if you look at where the green arrows are, it shows in blue what your course choices are. So these are the requests that you have made. And note that at the bottom, this person has made two alternate course choices. And here's probably the most important part. Once you have made your course choices down on the bottom left hand corner, look at where those green arrows are, you need to post your choices. This is what saves those requests in the computer system so that we actually can see them. Please don't forget to post your choices. So where can you see all this fabulous information one more time? Please go to the school website and you can go to About School and Courses and you will find all of this information, including the PowerPoint, um, your course guides and catalog and your course planning sheets. All right, after all that information, it's now time for any questions you may have. We're going to be doing a virtual question and answer through Teams at the end of the assembly. Um, or if you have further questions, please make an appointment to see your counselor and we can discuss your course requests and choices at length. Thanks for listening.